Hi, I'm Denise Maimdonald and I'm an education consultant with Down Syndrome Queensland. This webinar on key word signing has been made by DSQ to support you with learning signing in a school environment. I'd like to acknowledge that this presentation is being held on the traditional lands of the Younger Bear, people of the Gold Coast, and pay my respects to all First Nations people and to elders, past, present, and emerging. Now our agenda is going to be that we learn the how of signing and take a quick look at the foundational structures of signing. Then we're going to learn and practice the what of school-based signing. Then we will finish with knowing where to look for further resources and learning. Production techniques. If you're right-handed, this is your dominant hand, with your left hand being your subordinate hand. If you're left-handed, this is your dominant hand, with your right hand being your subordinate hand. It's highly recommended not to swap your hand dominance with signing. Now, there are three types of signs, one-handed, double-handed, and two-handed. Signs made with one hand, such as who, and come are called one-handed signs. Signs made with two hands of the same hand shape, such as different, play, start, are called double-handed signs. Signs made with two hands of a different shape, such as now, egg, student, are called two-handed signs. The parameters of signs are made up of the acronym HOME, H-O-L-M-E. The first one, hand shapes. Now there are 38 common hand shapes that we'll be using, with approximately 12 different hand shapes with the signs we use today. Orientation, this differentiates signs that share the same location, hand shape and movement. It is important to specify two orientations, that of the palms and that of the hands. Now, palms up can be where, palms down, activity. This is the same hand shape, location and movement, but a different orientation. Location. Now, there are two major types. Primary location, on or near the body. Secondary location, on or near the hands. Signs that touch the body are generally easier to learn than the ones that do not touch the body, especially those that are out of our eyesight, such as, and I'm going to duck down, shower and sun. Location can change the meaning of a sign, such as phone and plane. The movement can also change the meaning of a sign, such as which and plain or tell a story phone right and hanging up the phone now our expression and non-manual features are the tone and add meaning to the sign some signs have the same home but the e changes the meaning such as like and dislike 78% of our communication is nonverbal, and a large part of that is our expression. So ensure that when you sign a feeling, you are showing it on your face and your body, such as happy and sad, or with questions, where? Now, let's start some signing. I will sign the sign twice, providing directions for handshakes and for some 
providing a clue on how to remember the signs. Please remember that with keyword signing, we have our voices turned on, that is to support language acquisition. These signs are based from a study from Frizzell and Lyon regarding language needs of signers in the school community in Ireland. They emphasise the importance of providing AAC users, teaching staff, with a core vocabulary that is context specific. I've used only some of their recommended signs. So let's start. First, finger facing outwards, pointer up, turning towards you one handed. First, first. Now, Non-dominant hand, flat, with dominant hand in a bent position coming out now. Now. Next, hook your finger round your thumb, one-handed, roll it over. Next. Next. More is a cupped hand coming out. More. More. Finished. Thumb up, rocking side to side. Finished. Work. Flat hand, blade hand, two blades, work, double tap, work. Computer, there's your computer screen with your mouse, computer. iPad, flat screen, finger scrolling, iPad. Play, rolling your hands over, flat hands up in circular movements like flicking sand. Okay, so let's put some signs together. First, work. Next, iPad. First, work. Next, iPad. What? What? You, pointing out, you. Want? Flat hand, starting at the chest, rolling down, want, want, go, one handed and it's directionality, go, or go, 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 sit, two handed, one hand on top of the other, sit, it's also got directionality, if you want them to sit over there, sit, look, finger pointer from the eye out, look, here, the gesture, cupped hand round the ear. Here. Now there are two different times. Time or time. Time touching a watch. Time like the hands of a clock. Okay. So let's put some signs together. It is time to go and sit. What do you want? It is time to go and sit. What do you want? Now, you're most probably thinking, are we finished? I would really like some coffee, please, but not yet. If you look at the please sign, you will see that some of the signs are labeled with either a north or a South label. Just like the Australian English language, there are different words for the same thing in different states. With Auslan, now that we have visual communication systems and with our transient community, there has been more of a blending of the signs. But Keyword Sign Australia and Auslan will still label some signs as Northern or Southern. Okay, I, it's just pointing to yourself. I, or me. Light, remember that is just a circular movement on your chest, which can change to dislike with a facial expression. Need, this sign is the same as want. It goes a flat hand and sweeps down the body and out. Need, help, flat, non-dominant hand, bent, dominant hand, positioned on top, pushing out. Help. 
help. Wait, it's a gesture, just a hand pushed out. Show, from your eye coming out and opening up. Show, good, bow up. Please, from the chin down and position like a good position. Please, and thanks. You give thanks so it goes outwards. Thanks. Now let's put some signs together. I need help, please. Thanks for showing me. I need help, please. Thanks for showing me. Home. It's a one-handed sign going over the hill and going home. Some people use house for home, but what happens if the person does not live in a house? School. Flat, dominant hand, just twice to the side. School. School. Toilet. Flat, non-dominant hand. Point a finger to letter T to the side twice. Double tap toilet. Outside. Non-dominant hand is like a wall and you're going outside. Outside. Inside. Inside. Class. It's a letter C encompassing around. Class. Can be done like that as well. Class. Table. It's a gesture up and down. Table. Lunch. Lunch is like a sandwich just below your mouth, like eating a sandwich. Lunch. Now the difference between Ausland and keyword signing is that we are supporting language acquisition. So all signs do not cover the mouth with keyword signing. Okay. Book. Book. Okay. Let's put these signs together. School has finished. Time to go home. School has finished. Time to go home. You may be thinking, are we finished yet? I want something to eat, but wait. There is more. Now for some curriculum. Okay, English, non-dominant hand pointer, dominant hand pointer, rubbing backs and forwards, English. Maths, like the letter M being added together. Maths, and you do it twice. Maths. Science, like test tubes being poured in. That's an easy one. History, it's rolling back towards you as in the past. History. P sports, it's good, both thumbs up and pulling away. PE. Library, two hands together, move the dominant hand to out, drop, back together and out. I think they're compactors. Library. Art, you've got your three fingers. Art. Art. Music's like conducting. And then calm. Mindfulness. Just calming yourself down. It's a bit of a gesture. Deep breaths. Now let's put some signs together. We have finished maths. It is time for English. We have finished maths. It's time for English. Now you may be thinking, are we finished yet? I need some chocolate, but there is only one more to go. Now let's do some signing about feelings. How are you? Flat hand across the chest into a good sign. How are you? And use a questioning look on your face. How are you? 
feeling middle finger stroked up your side feeling okay good sign on the side okay you can also do okay happy it's like a backwards h movement but it's a clapping happy make sure your expression is happy happy now there are two sad ones first one sad going down or sad going up i like the sad going down because i find it easier to look sad sick little uh, pinky finger down the middle of your chest to your stomach sick tired is a little cupped motion from your shoulder down tired like you're flagging pain or sore now that's just a shaking motion over wherever the pain is but if you had a headache you wouldn't say i have pain you would say i have a headache angry angry is a cupped motion of your stomach turning over angry if you're very angry you do both hands angry now let's put those signs together i feel tired how are you i feel tired how are you now you're possibly thinking are we finished yet wine now please yes we have finished the practical signing, but where to now? Apps and other resources to help you continue to learn how to sign. Keywords on Australia has accredited basic and intermediate workshops where you will receive a certificate of attendance. These keywords on workshops teach you how to sign with the intermediate working on fluency and sentence formations. The Royal Institute of Deaf and Blind Children has a free app with some basic signs. The Auslan Sign Dictionary will demonstrate videos how, how to sign. It has over 4,600 signs. There'll be multiple signs for the one word. It is important to read this descriptor for an exact match. Also look at the pictures of Australia to see if it's used Australia-wide or just in one state. Sign Planet has some images that you can use for free, but anything more is via subscription. Keyword Sign Australia has a range of resources and videos. Some are for free. They have just released Keyword Sign Create, which demonstrates videos both forward and sideways for you to learn the sign. You can make up a variety of templates with, with a different signs. This is what I use for my presentation. It does cost and is a yearly subscription. Down Syndrome Queensland have commenced keyword sign workshops through our Quest programs for schools. Okay, a proud mum moment. This is my son, Bryden, who is a teacher aide at Madraba State School. Bryden has a moderate hearing loss and wears hearing aids. Signing was a predominant communication method that we use with Bryden. As part of his job, Bryden teaches keyword signing and works with students with communication delays. So that is the end of my presentation. If you have any questions, please email education down syndrome queensland.org.au thank you